Hello, and welcome. My name is Charlevos. I go by Bob. I am not your typical painter. Today, this video is going to be about detail, specifically the detail of the buildings. I'm obviously not going to spend a whole lot of time videotaping every little detail I'm going to do. That's going to be time consuming, but I will do some videos um, working on some of the buildings. Anyhow, one of the things I'm trying to accomplish the most in this painting is the sense of distance. And what better way of establishing distance than by having a lot of detail here and very little detail, say, here. This is a big difference of the buildings here and the little buildings there. One way I'm going to begin all this detail is obviously from using a digital photo where I could zoom in as much as I want. And this helps versus using a traditional photo. In this painting, I'm going to be using very tiny brushes mostly. Like this is probably going to be one of the bigger brushes on number two. This is going to be one of the tinier flat brushes. This is a 10 uh, zero. My biggest flat brush, a zero. I have some more in between, I believe, or a little bit bigger or smaller, but as an example. And and these three are going to be my workhorse brushes. I'm going to I call them the workhorse brushes because they are the main ones that are going to be again all the little details. I actually go through quite a lot of little brushes. I, that's why I stock up on them. Usually double zeros, triple zeros, ten zeros. Because they also wear out quicker since they're so tiny. I favor my Da Vinci's, the black sables, because they have a nice bit of softness and stiffness, so it holds its form as you paint. Lately, I've been actually favoring more the Princeton Velvet Touches. They're cheaper and they seem to last longer, surprisingly. I bought a random Velvet Touch Princeton brush a while back just because it was on clearance and it was a 10-0 and ever since then it's served me well so I expanded on that collection and I probably will buy more for the future. What I'm going to be focusing on today is trying to like, clarify this area here. It's a cluster of buildings um, also there's obviously more trees and some like a road right here I'm definitely gonna spend also some time distinguishing the windows and balconies and some of the different colored roofs and there's also the thermal solar powered heaters like water heaters again it, this is a common thing in Greece where people have these giant solar panels on their rooftops that collect the sun rays to heat up water and also to separate like the trees and make them more distinguishable in this area here it kind of divides this little section over this little section just gonna point out here everyone makes mistakes well I know I make lots of them and sometimes you make like a quick error here you could actually like probably remove your mistake by uh, using a little solution um, clean solution and then a rag what I did in that scenario is I placed um, the roof in the wrong spot <laughs> so the quickest and most logical solution is to erase it you can't erase it like pencil so that's why I used a little towel while the paint is still wet. Another option would have been to come back later and just paint over it. Uh, since this is the moment 
I'm working on it and uh, I don't want to wait till later this paint sometimes takes a while to dry um, I did it by erasing it hopefully these few time-lapse videos will give you an idea how just I tread very carefully on every like little line I make yes I'm gonna be making mistakes yes I'm gonna <laughs> go back into the area I might even sandpaper some of the rougher areas just to smooth out the canvas but in the end it's a constant ongoing process of correction and that's how painting is I probably mentioned it a bunch of times in my other videos but Painting is a constant form of correction, and I do make a lot of mistakes, so I am constantly correcting my painting. But the one thing I don't do is I don't give up, or I used to give up on paintings, but recently I haven't. I keep seeing things through to the very end, and I will definitely make sure I see this painting to the end. I want to wrap up this whole time lapse section by, as you view the footage, this is again a constant ongoing battle of constant marks, constant brush strokes, constant blending, constant layering, constant just detailing. In the end, the things that are going to form these buildings, these trees, and all the other objects are visible and I could swear there's probably some sheep somewhere there anyway the things that are going to form everything is going to be a constant effort to try to capture everything I see yeah you could say I might have um, bit off more than I could chew but in the end I feel like this is what I really wanted to do and surprisingly I was gonna work on a smaller version of this painting at first um, I was gonna try to do a, a small painting and try to capture as much in a little canvas I was gonna form the buildings and everything visible by just doing some kind of pattern of red and white to get the essence of the town but after listening to the song that originally um, inspired this painting, uh, Moby's uh, God Over the Face of the Water, that changed my whole thought process of, no, I should go bigger. And here I am. One of the struggles I know I'm going to counter in the near future, all these little buildings that are throughout the whole painting. The way I'm going to attack the buildings is treat them as individuals. So there will be times where I'm going to spend a lot of time just on one building and then move on to the next building. The buildings that are closer to the view and plane are the ones that are going to be the most detailed. And then the further back into the distance, even less detailed, and even less detailed when it comes to this area of the painting. And to get that level of detail, I am going to zoom up as close as possible into the digital photo to get as much information to paint with. And this will probably be the last video I'm going to be doing of this painting. I'm considering taking a break and starting another painting or uh, con continue working on it. I haven't 100% made my mind and also filming, it's counterproductive. So as much as I love um, doing time lapse videos, it's time consuming and I do want to finish this painting eventually. And I got to a point where it seems like it requires more of an effort now to do very little where at the beginning stages of a painting just putting a smear of paint will get a big result 
where now little tiny details and lots of them will make such a small impact in the overall picture. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah, filming it is tedious and, and I'm to the point where I will f do some time lapse stuff here and there, but I will save it for a final video. And if you made it to the end, and especially for those who have been following the progress of this painting, thank you for watching. I also post photos and updates on my Instagram. And again, my name is Charles Lombos. I go by Bob. I am not your typical painter.